Hey everyone, my name is Jay Yulowski. Welcome to the video. Today we're talking audio in DaVinci Resolve and how you can use the EQ to make your audio sound better. So let's get into the video. All right, so I've already gone ahead and created a sample clip that we can use and I brought it into DaVinci Resolve, set it up, and we're gonna jump over into the Fairlight tab so we can start working with our audio. Now just real quick, a lot of what we're gonna do here with the EQ and with just audio in general is very subjective to how you hear it. There's some basic concepts that we're gonna go over and uh, things that you can do and places to start, but every piece of audio from every different microphone is always gonna be a little bit different. It's never gonna be the exact same for each situation that you have. So another thing to keep in mind as you are listening to your audio, a lot of it is gonna be dependent on how good your speakers are or maybe you got a pair of headphones. I would recommend a good pair of studio monitor headphones. These are a Sony pair. They're MDR-V6. I've had these for years. They're awesome. I love them. And they really give you the full range of sound. If you're just using the speakers on your computer, you might not notice too much of a difference because a lot of times the speakers built into your computers are not that great. If you've got some external speakers for your computer, that's awesome. That's a good step in the right direction. So let's jump over to Resolve and start working with our EQ on some audio. Okay, so here we are over in the Fairlight tab of DaVinci Resolve. I've already gone ahead and put in our footage here and our audio, as I uh, said earlier, and I've taken two different samples of audio. So with the video that I did, I recorded with Rode Lav Mic and I also recorded with a Blue Yeti desktop mic. I just wanted to show you the difference of each one of these microphones and how we have to process the audio and work with the EQ a little bit. So I'm gonna start with the Blue Yeti because I know the quality of that one is a little bit better and there's a little bit less that we need to do from it when thinking about an EQ. So the first thing that I like to do with my audio is come down and I will right click on the track and I'm gonna go to normalize audio levels and I'm just gonna leave it at zero. And then what that does is kind of smooth out all the audio levels a little bit, brings your peaks down a little bit and brings the low points up a little bit, just kind of normal normalizes it and do that to all my clips here. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna play through just a little bit of it. I'm gonna mute the Rode Lav Mic and we're just gonna to listen to the Blue Yeti. I'm gonna play that so you can hear what it sounds like and we'll get into editing with the EQ. So we're gonna use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode. And I'm gonna show you how you can use the EQ within DaVinci Resolve to help your audio sound better. And I'm using the two different mics just to show you the quality difference between the two different types of microphones. We have. Okay, so there's a little sample of what it sounds like. It's not too bad. The Blue Yeti actually does sound pretty good without any kind of uh, audio processing on it, but there's still some things that we can do. Okay, so I'm gonna come over to my faders over here. I'm gonna look for the EQ and I'm gonna double click on the EQ. And that brings up our EQ dialog box window here that lets us make all of our adjustments. So the first thing that I always do is I turn on band one, which is my high pass filter, and I'm gonna bring that up to around 100, 105, no more than 110 at most. What this is gonna do is cut out all the low pitch frequencies that we don't need with a vocal track. Low pitch frequencies are normally like your bass guitar, and but we don't need that with our vocals. The next thing I'm gonna do is come up to our band six. I'm gonna turn that on and that's gonna be our low pass filter. So that's gonna cut out all these real high frequencies that I don't think we need with our vocals. I usually set that around 14,000 something and uh, we can always adjust it as we go, but it's just a good starting point. So with those two little things adjusted, I'm just gonna play a little bit of it so you can hear how it's sounding now. First, I'm gonna start with the EQ off, then I'll turn it on after a few seconds and you can hear the difference. And again, if you have headphones or if you have good speakers for your computer, you're gonna notice these things a lot more than if you were just listening to the audio through your computer. So we're gonna use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic. The all right, so I don't know if you noticed it, but it definitely pulled out a little bit of the low end bass there. So I'm liking that. So the next thing that I do is I usually come up around the 1000 to 2000 kilohertz range. And that's where you're going to find sound that you might not like too much. Now, how do we find out where the bad frequencies are? To do that, you want to boost your Q factor way up. And I'm using band four here, but you can use any one of these other ones. It's, and that's just going to reduce the width of the frequencies that I'm changing. I'm going to then bring it all the way up to the top. I'm going to play through the audio and then I'm going to sweep across the frequencies, which just means grab your number four point here and just sweep it back and forth until you find something that sounds a little off. And once we get to that part that sounds a little off, I'll drop that out and that'll cut that frequency out so that we don't have any anything that we don't like the sound of in our audio clip. So let's do that. I'm gonna play through the clip. I'm gonna sweep the audio and we'll find a bad spot. So we're gonna use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode. And I'm gonna show you how you can use the EQ. So it sounded to me like there was a little something funky going on here as well as down over here. And I'll adjust this part in a little bit. But for right now, I'm gonna grab that number four and I'm gonna take the gain and I'm just gonna drop it straight down. 
Now I'm going to try listening to it and see how it sounds from the beginning. I'm going to turn off the EQ and then turn it on partway through so we can see the difference. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic. Okay, so I think it just cleans it up a little bit. It's a little bit crisper. And a lot of these things are very subtle, but as a whole, once everything's done, it makes a good difference. So now I'm going to try and find that frequency over here a little bit between 500 and 1,000 kilohertz that was a little out of whack. So I'm going to grab my number three point, boost my cue up, and I'm going to just sweep the frequencies again as I listen to it from the beginning. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker. So you can hear that for sure right there. I don't know if it's feeding back or whatever it's doing there, but it doesn't sound good. So I'm going to take that frequency and I'm going to drop that guy down to minus 10. Let's see how it sounds from the beginning there. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the... It sounds pretty good. I'll turn the EQ off just so we can see the difference and then turn it on as we're going through. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode. All right, that's pretty good. So sometimes you're going to find something in the lower end of your EQ here that doesn't sound quite, quite right, just like we did around 500 here. Most of the time, you're going to want to find somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 or just over 2,000 that you want to cut. Here's a pro tip for you. You generally want to cut on your EQ and not boost. Sometimes you want to boost a little bit, especially in the high end. It kind of gives you some clarity and presence of the voice. You'll notice that more with singing vocals, but it can work here with regular talking vocals as well. But most of the time you want to cut the frequencies that are bad and leave the rest where they are. So I'm going to try and do another little sweep here in the two to 4,000 hertz kilohertz range and kind of see if I get anything there. I'm going to use my band five. I want to change the type of curve that it is to this guy right here. I'm going to boost my Q factor up so I can grab my number five and bring it up here. So I'm going to play the audio and see what we get. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode. So right about there, it sounds a little hollow. So I'm going to take that and drop that frequency out too. And let's see how it sounds. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode. And I'm going to show you. So that sounds pretty clean and pretty crisp. Okay, so I'm just going to continue the, the clip from here so you can see how it sounds to help your audio sound better. And I'm using the two different mics just to show you the quality difference. But All right, so there you go. That's the Blue Yeti. I'd kind of leave that where it is. Now, if you need to adjust your volume, you come over here to your fader and you can adjust that. Or if you're in your EQ, you can boost this up and that'll raise the whole thing too. But for now, I'm just going to leave that where it is. Now let's get over to the Rode Lab mic and you're going to see the difference in the audio there. I'm going to play them back to back, our Blue Yeti edited audio here. And I'm going to play our Rode Lav mic edited here. So you know what the Blue Yeti sounds like. I'm going to mute that. We're going to come back to the Rode Lav mic and I'm going to play that to see the difference. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic. Okay, and then I'm just going to play the Blue Yetis. Hear the difference there. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from... So you can see a big difference, a lot cleaner there. So let's start out like we did before. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the audio clip. I'm going to normalize audio levels to zero. Do that with both my clips here. Then I'm going to come over to my Rode Lav Mic fader and my channel settings here. I'm going to double click the EQ. I'm going to start band one, bring that up to around 100. And I'm going to throw on band six and bring that up a little bit around 14,000. I'm going to give it a listen and see how that sounds. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit. Okay, so it still sounds a little hollow is how I would describe the sound. It needs uh, some more body to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with third point up here and kind of see what I could find up in this 1000 range. See if I find anything that sounds bad. And then I'm going to drop that out. Increase my Q factor then play the audio while I do a sweep of the frequencies. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode. And I'm going to show you how you can use... I can definitely hear something funky going on here, which I don't like. I'm going to take the frequency there and I'm just going to drop it down to say minus 10 and see what we get. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode... All right, that's starting to sound a little bit better. I'm going to do the same thing with my point number four. See if I find any bad frequencies here. Filmmaker kit mic, the wireless mics I have from... Oh, right there. You can hear that right away. So I'm going to drop that down to around minus 10. Listen again. So we're going to use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from... Okay, it sounded pretty good. And the last thing uh, that I'm thinking I want to do here is give it a little more body. It sounds a little thin. So you're going to get a little more 
body to your audio if you boost somewhere between say 200 and 600 kilohertz somewhere in that area if you give it a little bit of a boost you're going to add a little body to your audio if your audio already sounds a little muddy or it's hard to understand you might want to drop your frequencies down in that area but in this case it sounds a little thin so i want to boost in that area so i'm going to bring my point number two over i'm going to change my band two i'm going to actually decrease my q factor this time and i'm going to give it a little boost and play the audio and just kind of sweep it around a little bit and see where i feel like it adds weight to the to the audio so we're going to use this audio here from the blue yeti as well as from the rode filmmaker kit mic the wireless mics i have from rode and i'm going to show you how you can use the eq within davinci resolve to help your audio sound better and i'm using the two different mics just to show you the quality difference between the two different types of microphones we all right, I think that helped a little bit. So let's play it without the EQ, and then I'm gonna turn the EQ on partway through and you can hear the difference. So here's with EQ off, and I'll turn it on after a few seconds. So we're gonna use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mics I have from Rode, and I'm gonna show you how you can use the EQ within DaVinci Resolve to help your audio. All right, so I think that definitely sounds a lot better. And now we're gonna just play them back to back. We'll play the Rode Lav Mic and the Blue Yeti and just kind of compare how they sound together. So here's the Rode Lav Mic one more time. So we're gonna use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit. Okay, and let's do the Blue Yeti here. So we're gonna use this audio here from the Blue Yeti as well as from the Rode Filmmaker Kit mic, the wireless mic. So there we go. I think adjusting the EQs on both of those audio tracks helped out a lot in making the audio clearer, easier to understand, but that's kind of like a real basic way that I would start to edit your audio. Now there's a lot of nuances in how you can adjust your EQ to pull out frequencies and different kind of things. Things, but I just wanted to give you a quick, easy overview of a couple settings and a couple things you can do to start making your audio sound better right here in DaVinci Resolve. So in another video, we'll get into some other things you can do with your audio to help clean it up and make it sound even better. But for this video, EQ is where it's at. So thank you guys for watching. If you're into photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing, consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.